two bodies A and B are dropped from heights of 16 meter and 25 meter respectively. The ratio of time taken by them to reach the ground is mass of the first body is 1 kg and mass of the second body is 3 kg. First body dropped from a height of 16 meters. H1 is equals to 16. Mass of the second body 3 kg and it is dropped from a height of 25 meters. We have to find out the time taken by the two bodies to reach to the ground. Initial velocities of these two bodies 0. Here time taken by the two bodies to reach to the ground not depends upon the mass of the bodies. Why? Because whenever a body is in freely falling motion, Acceleration due to gravity acting on the body is constant. It not depends upon the mass of the body. Take the equation of motion. S equals to ut plus half at square. In place of S take height. Initial velocity 0. Acceleration due to gravity t square. From this time t is equals to square root of 2h by g. This is the formula to find out the time taken by a freely falling body when we know the height. We have to find out the ratio of their times. T1 by T2 is equals to square root of 2H1 by G by square root of 2H2 by G. Here 2 and G, these two are constants. Square root of H1 is 16, H2 is 25. Because we know 2G get cancelled. T1 by T2 is equals to 4 by 5. Fourth option is correct.